One of my favorite things about old magazines is finding secret gems of information. Today we're looking at Soviet Woman Magazine from, from March 1958, the Special Women's Day edition. And one particular article caught my eye called Return to Sender. It's so passive aggressive. Essentially, mail meant to be received by a Canadian woman's communist group was returned to the Soviet Union. In this article, they express offense and try to determine why it was sent back. Take a look. They start with, was it the smiling youngster from a nursery that alarmed the Canadian postal officials? This picture of a worker's family setting out for a drive in the country seems harmless enough. Could the Canadian postal authorities have thought the delivery of mail to farm fields an unnecessary luxury? Surely people's artist Galina Ulanova's ballet slipper cannot be classed as propaganda. What can anybody have against architecture student Serafima Galco? Was some insidious meaning read into the picture taken at a wedding? or into this photo of Lydia Novoroskaya, a village Soviet chairman from Murmansk. Perhaps this photograph of a woman doctor whose specialty is radiotherapy can have been to blame. 